Ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely steamrolling through these triple threat player reviews. And up next, we're going to go ahead and check out none other than Tiago Alcantara. Tiago is an 87 rated card who stands at 5 foot 9, has medium medium work rates, right footed with 5 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. Now we don't see any versatility with the card as he can only play the center mid position. Looking at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, boys, we can see that the card is actually really well rounded. He has 80 pace with 90 acceleration and 71 sprint speed. Now I'm not going to lie, boys, 19 pace split is actually absolutely ridiculous you definitely need to go ahead and throw on a hunter chemistry style or a shadow just to bump up that sprint speed a bit more 75 shooting is an okay stat depending on how you do want to use alcantara in game if you do want to use him as a more advanced center mid then you definitely need a chemistry style to help out with that but if you do want to go ahead and use him as a more defensive minded center mid then that's not going to be that big of an issue 89 passing one of the standout stats for the card he does have 89 vision with 93 short pass and 91 long pass 92 dribbling is obviously where the card is going to go ahead and excel the most especially with his five Five star skill moves 93 agility 91 balance he's not the tallest the low center of gravity should feel extremely quick and swift on the ball 75 defending an okay stat he does have 82 interceptions with 72 defensive awareness and 77 stand tackle and then last but not least boys 70 physical and this is where the card kind of I don't know, uh, doesn't become above the power curve. He does only have 73 stamina, which is a bit of an issue, man. At that center mid position, he might be quite tired after the first half. And then he does also have 68 jumping, 63 strength, which isn't the greatest, and 84 aggression. If we jump on over to Footbin, boys, we do see a wide variety of different play styles for Tiago. He does have the first touch, ping pass, tiki taka, slide tackle, technical, flare, and trivella. Now, as far as chemistry styles go, boys, it's going to depend on how you want to use Tiago in game. If you do want to go ahead and use him as a more more advanced center mid then i would highly recommend the hunter chem style it's going to give him 88 pace with 80 shooting now if you do want to go ahead and use him as a center mid that's going to protect the defensive line a bit more then i would recommend the shadow again 88 pace but this time 81 defending as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 play reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is a team that we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new tiago card we're going to be playing him at the center mid position in the 4-3 2 one formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one and i must say i'm actually really excited to test this card out i feel like tiago deserved a bit of a special card so that's nice to see we're coming up against llorente salah de Jong, rice rodrigo rashford algebra it's not a crazy team, but it's definitely an OP team. But like I said, boys, we're going to be using him as a center mid. Now, his stamina isn't the greatest, so that might be a bit of an issue. He's currently going on the market for like 120, 130,000 coins. So hopefully he's worth it. Now, first things first, boys, we do have to go ahead and test out his dribbling. Now, the dribbling has to be the standout stat. Five-star skill moves, very small, very intricate. And as you guys can see... If this guy could chill out a little bit, his dribbling feels very good, man. He's very swift on the ball. All right, so first things first, we do have to do a bit of defensive work with Tiago. Right there. Doesn't, I mean, he, the pace is okay. It's a decent tackle, Tiago. Decent sprint speed and an acceleration right there, boys. We actually whip it in. Oh, the cross. Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh, boys, that's actually a pretty decent play. I didn't expect him to be as quick as he was. Tiago keeping the pressure up. That's a really nice tackle. Nice, Mudrik. Can we make it 1-1? Mihailo Mudrik, let's go, boys. And it all comes from a vital tackle by Thiago in the middle of the pitch. That was nice. Thiago, man, defensively has been really solid as well. That's a nice interception. He's continued his run forward. Now, we have to be careful, man, because his stamina is definitely not it. The acceleration's good. The sprint speed kind of lacks just a little bit. Ball roll. We'll go for a Trivella. Thiago, a bit too much power right there, but we'll take it, man. That's a good move forward. So far, I really, I'm really enjoying using him. Wambasaka, that's good. Morientes, Tiago, good run forward. Ball roll, sits him down. Tiago, it's a tight angle. I should have shot that a lot earlier, boys. The run forward was great. And the way we sat down the center back was cold as well. Big tackle from Wamasaka. How do we get that? We had to get that right. Back to Tiago, touch, Trivella. Good shape to it. Oh, it's a good save from Allison. His Trivellas are solid. Nice, boys. Tiago, beautiful. Tiago Alcantara. The sprint speed just lacks a little bit, man. The acceleration is really good. If you do a step over, you can get away from the center back. But as soon as that happens, you got to release the pass. Oh, that's ridiculous. Tiago. Good strength right there. Good pass into Morientes. Has to score. Let's go, boys. That's a lovely pass. I like the way that he held off the center back. That's actually pretty decent strength. He's making that run. One more. Oh, Mudrik. Tiago. Good little turn right there. Another good pass into Morientes. The link up is crazy, boys. The Spanish link-up is too good at the moment. 
Thiago's passing has been phenomenal. Thiago Alcantara, the stamina starting to become an issue. Ball roll, finesse shot. You know what, boys? I feel like we made a really decent play right there. We just, I don't know, man. The long shot was not great. Modric, a little bit behind Thiago, but we're going to pick up possession anyway. Acceleration's good. Sprint speed, not great. He's continued his run. Wambasaka, that's good. Thiago Alcantara, Trivella. Oh, boys, we should be scoring right there. We should be scoring right there. That's very unlucky. Good save. Thiago, easy pass right there to Bowen. Now, I could have just shot with Bowen, but I don't want to. Thiago. Good step over play to cross. That's lovely. That is lovely center mid play. Round of applause right there from Thiago Alcantara. I think that's his third assist this game. See if we can make one more goal right here. Thiago, nice. Four star, three star weak foot. Yeah, it's a three star weak foot and no way should have that gone in the back of the net. That was such a poor strike. Game number two, boys. And I must say, man, I'm honestly impressed by Thiago so far. We're coming up against, what is this team, bro? Mudrik is playing as a center mid and he's playing a five back. That's ridiculous. Modric, we'll cut that back, cut it across now, Thiago, nice, still with it, Thiago, picks out the pass, Morientes, let's go boys, that's another great assist, he just controls the center of the pitch so easily, I feel like it's really important to have a one center mid at least that's very good on the ball, that's very good uh, dribbling wise, and Thiago can definitely do that, Thiago, that's a good touch, ball roll, cut in, Thiago, Trivella, that's a, that's a fantastic finish, boys. Fantastic finish right there from Thiago. The Hunter chemistry style, definitely a good option if you do want him to play a little bit more forward. Good tackle from Gaia. The counter attack is on, boys. Nice. Thiago Alcantara will play it out wide. Good ball into Gaia. Dude, the Spanish link up is crazy at the moment. Whip it in. Beautiful. Beautiful, boys. Thiago Gaia Morientes. Beautiful play. Bowen. Thiago. Touch. Trivella a bit further out. Oh, boys, I was about to say it's going to go in. It looked like it was going in. Oh, good pressure right there. Gaia. Bowen. Thiago. Nice little drop at the shoulder. Three-star weak foot. Doesn't matter, boys. That's a lovely finish. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new triple threat Thiago Alcantara in two games of foot champions. In those two games, he got three goals and also got three assists from the center mid position. Now, as of recording the video, he's currently going on the market for roughly 130,000 coins. And for that price, you guys are getting a really solid center mid. The three pros that did with this with the card were definitely his shooting, his passing, and then also his dribbling. Now, boys, with the Hunter chemistry style, he does have 79 attacking positioning with 79 finishing but in game he was actually really really clinical which was nice to see 89 passing a phenomenal stat for a center mid with all those different play styles as well in his high short pass and long pass his passing was really accurate in game and then last but not least boys in the standout stat in my opinion his 92 dribbling five star skill moves extremely quick and swift on the ball now the card does also have a few downsides his 90 acceleration and 71 sprint speed it's a drastic pace split and in game he does have really good acceleration but the sprint speed once he gets going is just it's just too slow. The 75 defending is an okay stat. If you do want to use him as a more defensive minded center mid, then highly recommend the shadow chem style. And then the 70 physical boys for a center mid to only have 73 stamina is a bit of a problem. And towards the 60th, 70th minute, he's already really tired and you're probably going to need a sub. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give the card an 8.6 out of 10 rating. I do think that he makes a really good center mid if you do want to use him in a more advanced position. He's very solid technically and he's very small, very intricate. You know, it's very difficult to get him off of the ball. I feel like he definitely fits this year's meta as well. A lot of people are using the smaller, more intricate type of players, and Thiago definitely does fit that category. It's a solid card. Would I go ahead and pay 140,000 coins for him? Probably not. Maybe around like 80, 90,000 coins, I feel like would be a pretty fair price for the card. But overall, for the triple threat promo, there's not too many banger cards. So this one's actually pretty decent, and I did enjoy using him in game. But that is going to be the end of today's video. Boys, if you guys did enjoy, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the triple threat promo. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy booba and i'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace